everybody my name is farmer phil and in today's video the first slurry spreading video of the year we're just about ready to head off now this isn't the first job we've two jobs already done i'll talk about that a bit later on but we normally try and get going in the dark but because we're going down the road we do not like moving the big girl between before nine o'clock in the morning because you meet all the school and work traffic and it can be a bit bedlam now we just have them warming up there waiting for father phil to, to, to get here and then we're going to be on to the next job a lovely part of the countryside probably one of the most scenic farms that we work on very very nice day so anyways we're ready to go so we're just getting leaving now i'm bringing the 7618 and uh, pumping the compressor father phil's in 99 now you're probably wondering why don't we bring the compressor in, or the pump in the back of the jeep and move on tractor why run two well, that's purely down to ooh, our jeep the l200 is in a uh, garage getting fixed there's a problem with oh uh, electronical problem and yeah it's time for us mm, to be on so we're just going in the driveway into where we're spreading today I'm gonna pray for the next two or three days depending on the ground and this is the view of the low loader from behind and yes it is sticking over to one side um just how we ended up loading a bit crooked we're well, not crooked but just to one side but it's not the end of the world because it's wider on the hedge side it means it's a little bit safer because you're not overhanging as much in the oncoming traffic but yeah just driving in the lane right here so the reason why we're bringing a Honda low loader well there's two reasons one is to reduce the wear on the tires on the tractor because them tires ain't cheap and second is the wheel bearings the wheel bearings do tend to go on that the back the back axle of that tractor because of just the sheer width of the wheels it puts an awful lot of pressure on the bearings and they do tend to go works out basically the same between loading it onto the low loader drive and unloading it is roughly the same time as it takes to actually drive there so there's not much in that but it's just saving the tire saving the wheel bearings that's why we, we move it on the longer journeys where you'll be a half an hour or more driving on the road on the low loader it's a short journey we'll just drive it we'll see what the plan of attack is on here and we'll get some piping down and we'll get spread that pipe on we get this pipe rolled out i have one dropper to put on i think i have one dropper block from the last job oh, things are easier done with two hands we're in the first paddock ground conditions perfect sun is out what else would you be at get the pipe down it's short pipes of one two hundred and been down about 50 more meters 100 meters to go or set up over next to hedge nice straight line for putting me a b line on the hoof steer so just waiting for the slurry so we're taking out of a tank in the yard it is a bit on the thick side 
so that's why we're starting here close by to get some of the slurry out so then they can pump in water out of another watery tank into it so then that can be kind of mixed as we're pumping and then go the journey because the last bit of ground we have to do is quite a journey so there's my slurry engage macerator and the slurry starts to flow so we're putting it out at around uh, three and a half thousand gallons so it's on the strong side so we don't have to go too fast put my ab line now and i set it up along with this and then it'll do it the rest of the way so everything seems to be working away there outside one that side is uh oh, it's coming there happy days so yeah as i said we spread this paddock and then when we get a bit of space they put some water and then we go to the journey and the journey is all the piping if I remember rightly it takes every bit of piping we have to get to the end there's about 1.82 kilometers of a stretch and this is the view we have today so we're just above Lockery I think it's Lockery I'll have to check that um, but we're, we're above a lake here just outside Athlone and it is some of the most beautiful countryside this part of the world has to offer piping away here so I'm just going to concentrate on what I'm doing to get my AB lines right and get her driving in nice straight lines and we'll pick it up after that and that's us finished just getting air there now so just going to straighten out the pipe back down there so I can roll up my two sections and you can see there just it was a bit taken for whatever reason just coming out some and not others but um, yeah we get this straight now we get this pipe rolled up just start putting water in the tank too so it has improved a bit and um, it's a full relay rejig down the other way happy days 1.72 hectares in the first paddock um, that's, I don't know how well you can see it with the sun yeah ready to go let me up okay bye and that is the call for him yes I know on the phone father Phil forgot to bring his walkie talkie today so the CB is not being used. Yeah, I was walkie talkie tomorrow. That's the worst thing about walkie talkies is they got brought back into the house to be charged and forgot about. Anyway. We're in a big bit of a field here and well, you can't see the view, that's in the way, but look at the, the view from this field or from just this area is just spectacular. We're only spreading this top paddock, not going below the roadway, so plenty, plenty, plenty of buffer space between here and the lake. Lake is, is part of the Shannon. I think it's Loch Green. Spreading this field in two halves, it is quite a long field. It's about 400 meters, and it, ground conditions aren't just dry enough to be pushing it that hard. So we're going to split it in two. So before I hooked on the pipe, I went down to the fence below and I got my AB line to follow that fence. So when I finish up going down, I should have a nice straight line all along the fence, perfect in line with the fence. The reason we start at the top is because it's easy to work down the field, it's hard to work up the field. So we'll get into the middle of the field, we'll fire up the drone because best views from this spot. This is, yeah, sorry, shouldn't be too far away. So let's prepare to get it. Oh, I think we have it. Yeah, there's the slurry. So ooh, engage macerator, make a phone call to Father Phil. But I'll put the phone call there and we'll catch up again when we get into the middle of the field.
It's gonna be the ride of your life. I'd say we're, yeah, one more run in it. And we're next uh, wire. So happy days. I think that's multi species sword in that paddock there. It looks like plantain that's out there, quite a lot of it. But um, so yeah, just had the drone up there. But as you've seen, there's droppers working, then not working, working. We're just struggling for pressure, which is how thick it is. We're down, I'm down 400 meters. It's just thick. Has improved a little bit. Every now and again, I ring Father Phil, just crank it up another bit, try and give it more pressure. But it's just struggling there, and you'll see. As I go down, one dropper will stop, but turn the master right here, could come going again. So, just turn it now. Engage. Oh, who's there? Just have to watch out for that tank right there. Other than that, we should be pretty damn good going down here along the fence. So, yeah. I said that here B line started at the top there, done all my way down, and that's where we're at now. Might pop the drone again later on because we'll be switching from the cattle tank we're into a lagoon and the lagoon is quite watery but when i get to the end here i'm just going to pull her back up into the middle of the field a bit and then i'm going to lay off or what way will i do this i have to see what way because we're going on through the hedge and i'll probably go through the bottom gap so yeah this is one of the things when you're piping slurry you're not thinking about the field you're in now you're thinking about the field ahead of the field ahead of the field you're about to go into and you're thinking of the whole block of ground you have to do. When I'm saving on this, I'm saving everything as block one, block two, block three. And that's based on what way I'm laying my pipes. And I lay the pipes to do the blocks. So that I'm thinking of the last field in the line I have to go to and all the other fields. So I lay that pipe in the most efficient manner possible so that I can either tee off or come back or just efficiently as possible to spend as little time as possible messing with the pipes because messing with the pipes takes a lot of time a lot of thought goes into what's the best way of laying out the pipes there's a lot of thought it's not just the pipe and the way you go you gotta think but anyways i'm gonna have to ring father phil now because we're just about at the end so we'll catch up again later on but oh dear trimble oh dear absolutely flying us ring father phil and we'll catch up later but we're going now going significantly better well a good bit better father phil opened up the pump there just while we were waiting so just thought we should have we should have had a bit more pressure and um turns out there was a bit of a cubicle mat in the pump for an object sometimes it's a wonder how cows pass them things into the slurry he thinks we might have picked it up from yesterday's job and he should have checked it before we started but however we're running well now so well, while we're running well, we will get the slurry out. And see there, difference in the lines, all right. So, up on the high ground up here. So, this is our third job of the year. The first two jobs we done was relieving the pressure. So it was just getting tanks, tanks down, just relieving the pressure in the yard, so that we can go back in a month's time and do a bigger spread. And that's just because we did have quite a bit of rain at the start of January. Ground in some spots is quite soft. And there were just farms where there was a couple of dry paddocks. Get about bit out, take the pressure off. And then come back when land dries out better, go back at it. Where we are now, so we're a couple of days into the season now. We've Weather's not too bad. The forecast is quite good for the foreseeable future. There's no big deluges or anything forecast. So things are looking quite good that way and where we are ground is a lot drier than where we were so we should be able to get all this farmer once done and then move on to the next one and that's why the things depending on the spring if you get a wet spring it can really mess around with the way the work goes but if you get a really dry spring then there doesn't tend to be as much piping to be done because a lot of the farmers have their own tankers so they put out their own slurry when they're able to do so so we're only needed when you're in between too dry and then when it starts to get wet. But when it gets too wet, it becomes a thing of going around to everyone, relieving the pressure and going back to them when things dry up a bit. But hopefully enough, the weather does stay as the forecast is saying, that we should be able to make good headway and be clearing off jobs off the list from now on, hopefully. Spend all day looking out the window. Some of you. From the 
the same line as the line in front of me so it should if I was to drive far enough I should end up directly on my tracks and all the lines should be on the lines it's to be hang on the money you can see then you can't tell where was the line between except for the drop some droppers not working can't really tell but that's the gap where the two where where the up and down mess to get going and everything's working not too bad there's not a lot to do for so now I catch up on everyone on YouTube because really don't get a lot of time out to watch stuff during the winter wouldn't watch very little actually and now I get caught up and everyone see what everyone's getting up to on YouTube I farm we farm Tom Jerry Finnegan's everyone I, there's that many people at it now it's hard to remember them all Play the messages and all that because that's really all you have to do I don't even have to keep it in straight lines now does it for me happy days highly accurate just when I get the flow meter hasn't come yet and then I can put it on that and I can get accurate readouts of what I'm putting out that's next level spreading away here we're nearly ready for a blowout too and then we'll be going through the hedge but we might be redo rejigging all our piping to come a shorter distance to be able to make it it's, the, it's a long way to the far end but the way they're the finest Bit of water there while I was re jigging my pipe from that paddock field or paddock, whatever you want to call it, there side the hedge to here. So it's running very nicely. We're only doing half of this paddock. The pa paddock was split in two with temporary wire, and this side was eaten, the other side wasn't. So there's a lot of grass to just the other side of that bit of a bend in the roadway there. Oh, we'll finish up in the dark. What we like to do and uh, how we like to operate is trying to get. 10 hour days in from dark to dark. So start in the dark, finish in the dark. Usually finish when it comes to moving the pipe in the dark because moving the pipe in the dark is not a wise thing because if the pipe goes wrong on you in the dark because you can't see it, it can go very wrong. It can take a lot of time to fix a pipe that gets tangled, twisted, or pulls down fence. It's dark now, just finishing up another advantage to that is doesn't matter what day or night it is because you know exactly where you're going so it is the next morning we're ready to go but we have to drop road to school first well not to school but drop them out for the bus and then we can be on to where we were and get going again <laughs> not like cold as someone did say in the last video did we ever upgrade the alternator because we've so many things running off the battery no there was nothing ever done probably wants to be done because between our trimble system my I think there's 26 LED spots on it it can pull a lot of power especially when you work into the darkness and then you knock her off you have to give her a few minutes with all the lights turned off to charge the battery up enough so she'll start in the morning. Anyways, it's time to go down now. Fanderfield's just go blow out the pipe again, make sure that there's no ice in it. Keep it down and we get spreading. So just about finished spreading in the first paddock. Just spreading along the hedge. And then um, on the blow now, going out to the next paddock. And happy days. Uh, just starting to warm up now. The sun is kind of coming out. One more pack to do, then it's a full blowout roll up everything rejig because we're going from a tank in the yard to the lagoon and then we're going the long journey so pipe straighten out for going out that way through that hedge thing. so just finished the uh, last paddock now all done so pipe blown out and roll up all the piping so there's all off the back one off the front what's that it's 800 there's a kilometer of piping down that all rolled up and then we change tanks and we go on the long haul to the far end.
And now we have the pipe down and we're ready to go in the next block. And as you can tell, we are literally at the back of a golf course here. And when I was putting on the pipe, look what I come across. Two golf balls. So I actually have one here from last year or the year before. There. So yeah, this is where this is why I have golf balls. So if I see them, I'll pick them up. Since you're just waiting now, we have all the stuff to put down is two off the front. We, as you would have seen in the time lapse footage, this field is quite long and quite steep. So we'll probably put the drone, it's a bit windy, but we'll see how we get on. Three paddocks fields left to do. About three hours spreading is what I'm reckoning. It's gonna take a while for the slurry to get down this far. But we are in the lagoon, so we have nice watery stuff now. And uh, anyone who's gonna be playing golf today is gonna to get a bit of a swell, all right. the drone up there and I just flew in as far as Father Phil just to show you a bit in there and Farmer also asked me just to do a flyover of his yard just to send on to him not for the video but um, I had forgotten to charge the batteries last night so I didn't get a whole lot of footage but I got a bit. You can kind of tell this field we're on now is nicely sloping kind of down at the minute we're on a, a more leveler bit but some of it is, is steep enough now you I don't think you chance well, I, I would I don't know I wouldn't chance a tank running out to be honest absolute finest spreading away there everything seems to be working the kink in the pipe or well not kink it's a cut in the pipe there and it spews up a bit of stuff Um, I have to get another length of pipe and just to go on it or put a patch on it just to stop that but they're all working away there the finest next one is the long one out there also when I get my flow meter added that's when I'll do a more in-depth look at what I can do with the flow meter and that I can you know, I can show you all I can do with this at the minute the mapped areas and, and the overviews and that but I want to be able to show you the whole lot the full spectrum of what the flow meter and that combined will do so we're just down the last paddock now so that's where we were before we're out here now spreading away the finest We'll work our way up and down that way we'll keep well back from the bottom of the field we'll get this field spread oh yeah i forgot to say as well all the piping is down so front and back is empty about 1600 meters of piping down at the minute and then we have enough to go to two kilometers when we bring the trail reeler with us it's not full of pipe it's just where old pipe goes to retire because when they started piping first there was no front reelers it was a back reeler and the trail reeler that's what it is so we have enough to go to two kilometers with the trail reeler but we're getting more new piping so we'll be able to go a little bit further but anyways we keep slurry spreading slurry so that is us finished pipes blown out there so because we're quite a journey from the pump it's going to take it a minute or two for the air to go out of the system i'm also just behind someone's house so just keep the camera pointing the right way but um oh dear absolutely brilliant absolutely brilliant it's yeah oh every line straight every line's on point you seen in the drone footage yeah, only way to go but we'll get into that and the, when we get the flow meter and we get the full look at how the precision flurry is going to work this is what i'll be at now for the next i think currently we have two and a half or three weeks booked in ahead of us so our goal is to get 10 hours a day pumping 10 hours a day working if we get any less than any less than eight i'm very annoyed um anything over 10 is a bonus that's what we'll be aiming for for the next while slurry generally goes on into march time and then it starts to dwindle a bit where you kind of catch up and then the bit of tanker work tends to start then as well at that time when you start drawing slurry to out farms and that for lads we have a nice bit ahead of us and as we travel to our different areas our different loyal customers 
then the, that area work ties in together so look you see me roll up pipes already in this video there's no point in showing you rolling up and getting back and loading up the tractor because it's the same thing but we're going to load up now and be on to the next man and get him on and be on the next man and so on and so forth but yeah i'm just happy as a pig in this job but look we're going to leave it at that for today's video as always please like and subscribe to the channel if you're interested in getting any work done you can head into the description and you can follow us over at Stuart Agri the Facebook page and get in touch with me there if you're interested in any work the videos every Tuesday Thursday and Sunday and that is it from us good luck